Hey, this is Nick with Ultimate Motorcycling, and today we just got done riding the brand new 2017 Triumph Street Triple RS. We took this thing across the streets of Barcelona, and now we're here at the legendary Catalunya Raceway. So one of my favorite aspects of this bike is its triple cylinder engine. Now this year, we saw an increase to 765 cc's, and with that, a whole host of electronics. Now, in the RS model specifically, you have five different rider modes, which includes rain, sport, road, track, and of course, a customizable mode, which the user can input their own traction control settings and ABS settings. Most users are gonna get on this bike and find that the throttle delivery is incredibly smooth, the engine's very tractable, but it has a lot of power. So whether you're sort of lugging it maybe around 2500 RPMs or really putting it up there at its, at its peak horsepower, the engine is going to pull pretty much wherever you are in the rev range. And that's great for a lot of riders because if you're a less experienced rider, you're going to be able to get used to this engine and become familiar with it. Now, experienced riders are really going to make the most of it. And to be honest, this bike is for someone that has some experience on a motorcycle. So do keep that in mind. When it comes to suspension, we're going to find a fully adjustable show up fork up front and in the rear, a fully adjustable Olean's shock. Now, this suspension package is sprung, not overly aggressive and not quite for a track completely, but it's definitely for sport riding and it can handle track use with ease. In terms of spring rates, I would judge this as an aggressively sprung bike. Not something on par with a super bike at all, but definitely something that's going to be able to hit the canyons and you're going to be able to maintain lines and really get in there. In terms of rebound and compression damping, I find just as stock settings at my height and weight, I found it quite good. Braking power on this bike is incredibly good. At the lever, you're gonna find a really confident pull that has massive amounts of stopping power. And that's probably thanks to the Brembo M50 calipers that are on the front of this bike. Now in the rear, you're gonna have a single caliper doing that heavy lifting, but realistically for my riding style, I tend to do about you know an 80-20 split when I'm on the street and on the track, I tend to lean heavily towards the front brake. On the RS model only, you get fully adjustable levers. And one interesting thing about the brake lever is that not only can you adjust the reach, but you can also adjust how it feels. And that's because it has a, a pivot point that then adjusts how much torque you're actually getting into that front brake. That changes a lot of aspects of the braking characteristics without really going into it and physically altering the systems. Now this year, the bike also got a new chassis. In terms of dimensions, we're seeing similar stuff from the previous generation, but we're seeing a lightened chassis. Overall, we're still seeing about a 55.5 inch wheelbase. And when, in terms of handling, it's extremely compliant. You come into a turn, there's not much application needed, and the bike tips in beautifully. So whether you're on the street or on the track, you can get a lot done on this bike. Granted, the RS is the top dog model in the street triple lineup for 2017, and it comes with extras such as the quick shifter, works, which works immaculately. There's a lot of bike in the 2017 Street Triple lineup. 